I believe what grandparents want is the opportunity to speak into the lives of their grandchildren, including their parents. It's not an entitlement, but a responsibility, a responsibility that's earned. Dr. James Dobson once said, grandparents are parents that have time. I think they can be, if at all possible, not so much as surrogate parents as some are, but more like stand in the gap influencers. Time invested with your grandchildren earn you the right and respect to be heard. Heard not with authority over them, but as an authority on life itself. Time invested that is frequent enough to deepen the relationship with our grandkids, provide that opportunity to talk to them about the important things in life. Things that reinforce what their parents want them to learn. We often have difficulty understanding or approving the social changes that surround and impact our grandchildren. We seem to be inundated with startling shifts in culture and public policy that give us great concern for the safety and well being of our grandchildren. This only intensifies our desire to have more influence, but without interference. We know parents have the responsibility for raising their children, but we grandparents can have significant influence that helps to reinforce these priorities busy parents have for their children. We can make time to engage in easy, non-judgmental dialogue that can open the door for deeper discussions with our grandchildren and with the parents as well. I personally want more of those opportunities to say, let's go have some ice cream and tell grandpa all about it. Personally, as grandparents of 12 and hopefully counting, Mon and I want our grandchildren to know and internalize that, what, that they have a heavenly father who loves them, Jesus Christ who brings them saving grace that they will never deserve, along with truth that will never change, and that he has promised them the Holy Spirit who is described as their personal intercessor, helper, counselor, and comforter. We want them to know there is a reason the Holy Spirit has those titles, because they will find out, as we all have, that His purpose isn't to remove all their trials and difficulties in life, tragedies, or even their disappointments with God, but instead to always be with them, to walk and guide them through whatever changes they have in life. This is what grandparents even aspire to be to them. We want them to know that God has identified them as His own, as the Apostle Paul said, by placing the Holy Spirit in their hearts as the first installment that guarantees everything He has promised them. This is what grandparents ultimately want, and want for their entire family.